And since Keith had lived in Australia before, and uh, I visited frequently, I asked Keith to share some things about his uh, father, who was a chiropractor in Australia. And Keith, I, I know I didn't tell you I was going to do this, but can you share that some of that story with us again? Oh, sure, I'd be happy to. You just want to hear me cry. Yeah. <laughs> well, it had me crying, but that, I don't want to rush to the end and make it anticlimactical. <laughs> Uh, oh, sure. Well, my my father was uh, one of the first chiropractors in Australia, and uh, and had a very busy practice. Of course, he was the only uh, chiropractor for hundreds of miles around, and so he would uh, see a uh, hundred people a day, uh, and had satellite offices that he would go. And actually, the satellite office was in some patient's home, and he would take his little x-ray machine, which was a 15-unit uh, uh, dental, Phillips dental x-ray, and took upper cervical films and uh, did mostly upper cervical work, of course, and so he was very, very busy. But I uh, was focused on a career in radio and television and went up to uh, visit my folks, just a couple of months before I came uh, back to the States to uh, study television because I was working radio there in Australia at that time, and uh, we were uh, owner, station owner, and I decided we would develop one of the first television stations in Australia. Anyway, uh, I went up to visit my folks, and they had brought this girl in from uh, the country, uh, and her father had a station there, and family had a had a station, uh, which is a kind of a farm uh, sheep uh, uh, station. And the girl, when she was she was seven at that time, and she had fallen out of the hay mound. And uh, ever since, when she was three years old, this is four years before, and ever since that time, she'd been unable to bend her knees. And this little girl, now seven, actually walked around on her knees. That's how she got about. And she had big scabs and calluses on her knees. And so they brought her into my father and you know, asked if he could help and said, well, well, leave her here for a couple of weeks and I'll see her a couple of times a day and we'll just see what happens. And so uh, that's exactly what they did. The father went back. It was during harvest time. And... Um, he came back then two weeks later to see how everything was going. And the little girl, um, I can still see him now, um, sitting on the running board of his car. And I, I just can't tell the story without kind of breaking up because of how powerful and influential it was for me. So anyway, the little girl's walking down the steps with a cane in each hand, of course, but she's walking on her feet, and her father was just beside himself and uh, broke down completely, just like I am now. Um, I just can't relive that story without doing it, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, I decided there at that time that uh, if I could do something like that for somebody, it would be worth just everything to me. So I gave up my aspirations of some grand um, career in radio and television and came back to the Palmer College to study chiropractic. There you are. That's my story. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Walker. <laughs>